Did you know that there are a ton of hidden tips and features that can be done with just a simple long press inside of the Safari app? Well, in this video, we're going to go over 10 hidden long press functions that you can do inside of the Safari app on iOS. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Our first tip is the ability to bookmark multiple tabs quickly and easily. So if you have multiple tabs open that you might want to save and look at later, simply long press on the bookmark icon at the bottom of the screen. And then from the pop-up menu, go ahead and select add bookmark for however many tabs you might have open. And this will go ahead and group all of those tabs together in one convenient and easy to access location. Next up is the ability to bulk copy links inside of a bookmarks folder. To do this, tap on the bookmarks icon and navigate to any folder you wish to copy and long press on that folder. From the pop-up menu, select copy contents. From here, you can now paste the corresponding links at all at one time instead of having to manually copy and paste each individual link. If you're scrolling through a seemingly never-ending web page, but you really just want to get to the bottom of that page quickly, there's a hidden long press function here to help you out. On the right side, you'll obviously see the scroll bar as you scroll up and down on the web page. But if you want to navigate faster throughout that page, simply long press on that scroll bar and then drag it up or down to your desired location on the page. It's a much faster way than standard scrolling. If you have a ton of Safari tabs open at one time and you just want to close them all at once, you can do so by tapping the tabs icon in the bottom right corner and then long press on done. From here, you'll see a pop-up menu asking if you'd like to close all of your open tabs. If you've accidentally closed a browser tab inside of Safari and then you wanna open it back up, open up the tabs view and long press on the plus icon to get a look at all of the tabs that you've recently closed. Our next tip is the option to open up all the bookmarks in a folder as a set of new tabs. And if you want to do this, you'll need to tap on the bookmark icon, find a folder, and again, long press on that folder to bring up that pop-up menu we saw earlier. And this time we'll select open in new tabs. If you want to take a peek at what a specific web page hyperlink has to offer before actually visiting that site, long press the link to get a preview of it. If say you just want to copy a hyperlink URL and would rather not have to wait for the link preview to load every time you long press on one, simply tap hide preview at the top right corner of a link preview and you won't get that again. Switching over to the iPad for this next tip, if you're running iPad OS and have multiple browser windows open in the background, you can clean things up a bit by merging all of them into one active browser window. Simply tap and hold the tabs icon in the top right corner of the screen and then select merge all windows. Now that Safari has a downloads manager, you can actually download files directly from hyperlinks. Simply tap and hold a linked file, then select download linked file from the contextual menu. You can tap the downloads manager icon in the top right corner of the address bar to check on its progress. This option works for web pages too. So if you long press on the headline of this article like I'm doing here, you can download an HTML version of it pretty easily. Finally, our last tip is another iPad specific feature that allows you to access the tab control panel in Safari. If you have multiple tabs open, you can simply tap and hold on any of those tabs to bring up this tab control panel. From this menu, you'll see options to copy the URL of the tab to the clipboard, close all other tabs, and two entirely new options allowing you to arrange tabs by title or by website. Select one of the latter two options and your open tabs will now be arranged alphabetically. So that's it. These are some of the tips and features that you can do inside of Safari, all from just a simple long tap gesture. Let us know your favorite tips and tricks in the comment section down below, and we might feature it in an upcoming video. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.